In our family, we do work very hard and very professionally in trying to get what needs to be done. It's a culture we follow in our family. But somewhere down the line, when it comes to homes and houses, it is double the responsibility. It's not just a film that you make and hope everybody likes. A house has to be lived in by the families there and loved to death. So that is a double the responsibility. And I, I see her working at 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. And the whole idea is to make it like a, like a home. I would now like to invite Gauri and Sharu to come up on stage and then make the book. Congratulations again, Gauri. I will now request Sharuk to come up and say a few words. First of all, thank you very much. Uh, the book does contain a few things that I would like to mention, even though it may sound strange because she's my wife and we've been married to each other for over 30 years and it becomes the duty of a husband to talk like this, but only as an individual because me and Dolly have known each other. She was 14 hours ago. I've been doing what I do for a long time and uh, Dolly has played her part in the best way possible. We've raised three beautiful children. Um, you know, she's been a wife of a movie star who became extremely popular because of the grace of God and people like Suhail. Yeah. <laughs> but, but there was a passion she always had. Uh, you know, there was a sense of creativity. There's a little mediocre sense of creativity in a whole family, even a little ten-year-old. We do dabble with paints, we do think we can do a little bit of music, a little bit. This book, I think, stands for all that. It doesn't make a difference to all the youngsters, all the people who miss out on a dream of their life to be creative. You can start at any age. I think God is started mid forties. Okay. Why do you keep doing so much work? And she says because it satisfies me. And I think this book stands for that. That you follow your dreams, do what satisfies you. The material end of it all is not so important. We are winners at home, which is <clears throat> we don't have any choice in that. We all have to have dinner together. And on those dinners, we discuss how was your day at work. And uh, at the end of the dinner, the discussion is, it was a satisfying day. Because she believes a satisfying day is a happy day. And at whatever stage, whatever age, you are trying to follow your dream, at the end of it all, it's very important to follow that. It's what we've learned from her. And I hope everyone who reads this book, of course, it's got lovely designs, it's got pictures of the family, it's got some stuff written in it, which I don't understand at all. But it can offer well for people who feel that the dreams have passed them by. And they can come back to it and try it at any age without any formal education, which she could not get because she got married very early, but still make something come out of it which makes you satisfied. So thank you, Gauri, for giving us this mantra of success to the family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ashwarya, and thank you, everyone at Penguin, and thank you to all of you who come here and be part of this. I'm extremely happy and I'm extremely satisfied that I'm here uh, that you launched this. Thank you very much. The best part of the book, I would say, is the, the family pictures we've, we've done together. Um, to, get, to get all of them under one roof, um, the kids, and it was easier to get Aryans uh, Shahrukh's date. Uh, we were just waiting for Aryan's date all the time. That when is he going to give me time? And when is Abraham going to give me time to get this one picture together? So that's what I've really enjoyed. Apart from design, and apart from Rachelis being, um, you know, has various um, verticals, whether it's the KTR office or is it the production, um, you know, which is there, or the television, the film department. So. So many spaces all under one roof. 
you know, to um, put that all together. See, and all, all each, each, each person there, it's a different chemistry. The market is different, yeah. force is different, visual effects is different, yeah. uh, production is different, director's rooms are different, editing suites are different. Uh, okay. Now I think even uh, we have some television aspects also happening there. It's a different set of club. They may seem all related to entertainment, but they're all different set of people doing different kind of jobs. Uh, there are certain things, you know, when we are doing it in the house or outside also, to be honest. I've seen some of the places you design. You go there, and the kids and me always go, oh, Mama say, Mama say, I must design this part. And I'm like, see, Mama style and all. There is this personal touch. And she takes it very, uh, you know, she's, what is nice is we all do. In our family, we do work very hard and very professionally and trying to get what needs to be done. It's a culture we follow in our family. But somewhere down the line, when it comes to homes and houses, it is double the responsibility. It's not just a film that you make and hope everybody likes. A house has to be lived in by the families there and loved to death. So that is a double the responsibility. And I, I see her working at 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, and the whole idea is to make it like a, like a home or a, an office which seems worked in and lived in does not seem, you know, like I said, sanitized and clean, just good walls and good floors. So I think that's an important aspect she spends maximum time on because putting a four walls, floor and a ceiling is the easy part. Making it livable and lovable is, I think, what a designer should do according to the choice of the client, not just your uh, will and fancy. Thank you so much. Congratulations again to you, Gauri. We wait down. Thank you, Sharu. With that, I would like to thank uh, Mr. and Mrs. Khan and the lovely audience for this wonderful evening. Uh, may I now invite Mr. Puneet Chakpal, MD and CEO INCL, and Mrs. Chakpal, along with Mr. Hitin Tadavesi, uh, CEO HSBC, for a photo opportunity, please. <laughs> I don't think I